Hi, I'm Gordon White, the publisher of Truck Camper Magazine. Today we're going to take a look at a 2012 Travelite 1000 SLRX Ultra. This is our truck camper for the 2011-2012 season and our very first slide out truck camper for a long term test. Let's take a look. The 2012 Travelite 1000 SLRX Ultra is a 10 foot hard side full wall slide out truck camper with a full booth dinette, mid kitchen and rear wet bath layout. Travelite installed extended jack brackets for our dual rear wheel fenders to pass the remote electric Ryko Titan jacks during loading and unloading. The driver's side of the camper features a DSI hot water heater, outside shower, 41 gallon fresh water fill, and the electrical connection. The rear of the driver's side features a dump hose compartment, two 5 gallon 20 pound propane tanks, and access to the camper's battery and dump facilities. The rear of the camper features another access door for the battery and dump facilities, the rear bumper step, and an optional Onan 2500 remote propane generator. The passenger side of the camper features a full wall slide out and two exterior storage compartments. This is a center of gravity sticker. A center of gravity sticker shows you where the center of gravity is on a truck camper. Preferably this would either be right at the rear axle or forward, never behind. Let me use my truck's antenna which I just removed to show you where it is on our truck. Here's the center of gravity and as you can see it is right at or just forward of the rear axle. This is perfect for a truck camper. The front of the camper features a fiberglass nose cap designed for durability and improved aerodynamics. On the underside of the fiberglass nose cap, Travelite has included two small weep holes designed to collect and evacuate any moisture that could ever get trapped behind the nose cap. Just inside the door are the controls for the full wall slide out and the Onan generator. Opening the slide is as simple as pushing and holding the slide control switch until the slide is fully extended. With the slide out out of the way, the Travel Light's impressive wood laminate floor is revealed along with a generous amount of floor space. The full booth dinette features two large storage drawers and easily converts into a bed. Simply remove the tabletop Remove the posts, remove the cushions, place the tabletop between the dinette seats, and then put the cushions into the bed position. One of the standouts in the Travelite 1000 SLRX are the fiberglass gel coat countertops and table. I've brought the table outside so you can really see it here in the, in the daylight and they look fabulous. Larry Johns has been working on these for the past four or five years and I think he's really got it right. Here, have a look. Those same impressive fiberglass gel coat countertops can be found in the wet bath on the rear driver's side of the camper. The bathroom also includes two storage compartments, a sink, medicine cabinet with mirror, dual switch light, shower, toilet, and a multi-speed fan. Continuing on the driver's side of the camper, the Travelite features a small closet and a good-sized pantry. Under the closet and pantry are the heater, Sony audio video system, battery disconnect, and fuse panel. Battery disconnects are useful for disconnecting the battery for winterizing. Further into the camper on the driver's side is the kitchen. Here we find the same fiberglass gel coat countertops along with a stainless steel double sink and propane cooktop. Above the stainless steel sink are two large cabinets. You can also see here the optional Coleman Mach air conditioner. Another option included with our camper is a convection microwave. Storage under the kitchen counter includes two drawers under the propane cooktop and a cabinet under the sink. The propane cooktop features three burners, including one large burner for larger pots and pans. 
Immediately under the sink is the switch for the hot water heater and a 12 volt outlet. Also under the sink is the camper thermostat and the tank and battery level monitors. Opposite of the kitchen on the passenger side is a 6 cubic foot two-way Dometic refrigerator. This refrigerator is on the full wall slide with a dinette. The overcab bedroom in the Travelite 1000 SLRX Ultra has a bright and open feel and features plenty of storage. On the driver's side, the overcab bedroom has a large horizontal storage compartment, window, and front nose cabinet with mirror. The passenger side of the overcab features another front nose cabinet with mirror, window with emergency escape hatch, a smaller horizontal storage compartment, and a large closet. Over the overcab bedroom is a multi-speed fan and two reading lights. And finally, the overcab features an optional flat panel television with built-in DVD player. The television is on a swing-out arm so it can be watched from the kitchen or dinette as well as the cab over bedroom. That's it for our video view of the 2012 Travelite 1000 SLRX. You'll be seeing more of this truck camper throughout the year during our adventures. Thank you for watching Truck Camper Magazine. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Tr yeah, blah, 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 blah. Today we're going to take a look at a 2012 Travelite. Nah, I forgot it. This is a center of gravity sticker. No, stop it. Stop it. Action. Wait, stop. What was your line? This is a center of gravity sticker. A center of gravity sticker shows you on the truck camper where the center of gravity is on the truck camper. You want this sticker to be located forward of the rear axle. Let me show you. <laughs>